So this is the snow bear. This was the first of my winter stories and it's all about a polar bear. I've always loved polar bears. She was dreaming. She had to be, but it was strange to be in a dream and know that it was a dream. Tugging her coat more tightly round her shoulders, Sara stepped out into the snow, shivering a little. It was the coldest dream she'd ever been in too. She looked around, wondering if there was anyone to talk to, to tell her where she was and called, hello. She didn't call very loudly. She felt shy somehow, shouting into all that whiteness, and only the wind answered her. Sara took a few steps around the side of the igloo. She had some odd idea that on the other side of the snow house, she might find the way home, that there might be a sort of door back to Grandad's garden. But she forgot all about that when she came round the back of the igloo and found her snow bear. He was standing now on all four paws, but he still only came halfway up Sarah's legs. He stared at her uncertainly with round, dark eyes, not green glass anymore, and Sarah stared back. His eyes had changed, but it was her bear. She knew it. She knew him. He was real, soft and furry. She wanted desperately to stroke him. He looked so like her cuddly polar bears back home. But this was a real bear now, a wild bear. Sara shook her head, wondering how this could possibly have happened. Then she smiled to herself. She didn't understand it at all, but she'd heard so many of Grandad's stories and wished and wished she could see the places he talked about. And now she was in the Arctic. The cub was looking at her as though he didn't know what she was. He might never have seen a human before. She looked round anxiously. The bear cub was only small. She wasn't really sure how old, but she guessed he was probably only a few months. So he shouldn't be on his own. Somewhere close by, there would be an enormous mother polar bear looking for her baby.